A while back, the condo that me and my pregnant wife and our young daughter lived in was destroyed by thousands of gallons of water. It took six months to dry out and replace the destroyed walls, floors, and kitchen. My wife was five months pregnant at the time, and our daughter turned three as we bounced from one friend's house to another. Not wanting to impose on anyone too long, we were exiles from home. But when everything was fixed up, it was incredible. We were thankful for the new and fresh home that God had reclaimed from the destruction. God is also in the business of reclaiming lives. No matter how far you run from God, God's goal is to draw you back into a right relationship with Him. But through failure, forgetting what is important, and, and even sin, we may become exiles, attempting to return to God. Now your life challenge or pain point that you find yourself in just may be God's megaphone as He communicates His intention to reclaim you. No matter how far gone you think your life is, no matter how detestable your behavior and motives, God can reclaim and make something beautiful out of the mess. In the book of Ezra, God reclaimed his people according to his promises. He also reclaims and redeems our lives for his purpose in this world. And on June 26, we begin a five-week series in the book of Ezra about how we fail and mess up Yet God's grace never gives up or lets go of us. Maybe your life looks like a room gutted by fire, soaked in water, and destroyed, just waiting to be reclaimed.